Dr. Acharya. Hi. NEP 2020 with its set of reforms is supposed to be a revolution in the education sector. Could you throw some light on the extensive reforms and especially what are the provisions it has for our teachers? Yeah. So NEP is a very transformative and progressive document uh, which is envisioning uh, new education policy aligned with the global agenda also uh, providing uh, quality, uh, affordable, accessible education which is sustainable in nature and inclusive also. So in NEP uh, 2020 for the first time foundational learning or years has been focused. Foundational literacy and numeracy is immensely important in a child's development. Mm. So for the first time it has been brought into a for formal setup and with that also it is highly flexible. There is no hard separation between academics and vocation, between curricular, co-curricular or between activities and education. So there is no hard separation. And regarding teachers, of course, uh, teachers' career, progression, capacity building has been focused. And um, there are um, focus on multilingualism, teaching learning in mother tongue, which has been focused there also. And um, regarding assessment, assessment has shifted, the whole ecosystem has shifted from assessment of learning and uh, to for learning and as learning. So assessment is based on concept clarity and understanding. Earlier the whole education system was geared up towards rote memorization. Hmm. So now we are shifting from content based education to competency based education. That is most important. Similarly, there is a lot of new subjects which have been introduced by NEP also like uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, AR, VR, use of technology, nice. how it can facilitate education. So role of technology and ICT has been really at the focal point. And um, for the uh, board exam also, as we know, it puts a lot of stress on students. So NEP, as per NEP, instead of one high stake board exam, they want to do it semester wise so that uh, children are at ease and now children can take any five subjects they like oh, beautiful. so there is no uh, separation like you have to be in the science stream or commerce stream or in the humanities nice. stream more liberal yeah, yeah liberal and one more new feature is 10 bagless days you know beautiful. so creative expression imagination uh, strengthening uh, nurturing uh, the particular strength with the inherent capability which the child has so instead of uh, nurturing only cognitive capacities we must also nurture the social emotional aspect well-being of the child so when we talk about holistic education we are talking about psychological physiological social environmental financial and digital wellness so every aspect has been focused in NEP. So most important is assessment and teaching learning curriculum and pedagogy. In the foundational years they are talking about uh, play based pedagogy, discussion based, inquiry based, uh, role, a lot of role play, storytelling so that it is a joyful environment. We are uh, trying to create school is the most happy space of learning. So here not only academics but overall growth and personality is shaped up. So that is the most important that to find out the inner capacity of the capability of the child and strengthening each one's strength. Thank you, Dr. Acharya. Your insights are wonderful on the NEP 2020 reforms. These reforms, when implemented to create a holistic education system, are bound to create a value-based learning for our students and imparting learning by our teachers. Thank you Thank so you. much, Doctor. Thank you so much. Thank you.